Hi. And the first thing I want to say is that I'm clearly making progress because sitting and sitting down talking to a webcam or a camera now isn't feeling that way. So we have progress there. But today I'm going to film a haul of things I got from New Look, Primark and Clarks, which is a shoe shop in England. Um, I was planning on filming this about two weeks ago, but it took three attempts at going into three different Primarks to get the stuff I wanted from there, and two different orders from New Look to find stuff that was the right size for me and that fitted me properly. So, two weeks later, we actually have a video for you. And the first thing I'm going to show you, you will have already seen in one of my videos, um, and it's this white lace t-shirt. It's just a sheer t-shirt with a flowery lace pattern on. And I absolutely love this. It's so flattering on. Obviously with it being as sheer as, as, sheer as it is, you have to wear it with a t-shirt underneath. Or like a bikini top or something. But it's absolutely gorgeous on. And that was only something like 9 99 And it's absolutely gorgeous. I love that. And then from my second order from, uh, and then I tried ordering this next thing from my first order at New Look and found that they're actually small fitting. So I had to order again in a larger size. But it's this Cookie Monster t-shirt, which again you'll have already seen in videos. Cause I have worn it since I bought it. But I just think it's uber cool and super cute and just good for like those relaxed days when I'm not trying to look all glammed and dressed up or whatever. And it's just really comfy and it's absolutely great. But as I said, it is um, it is small fitting. So you will have to go up the size if you are wanting to buy them. And that was... That was 12 I think. Oh, no. Yeah, twelve ninety nine. I've got price tags for things I've taken off back there. Should have really thought to put them in the frame where I can see them, where I can see them. But then the next thing is just this white basic vest top from New Look. I'm holding it the wrong way round. And I just love these wearing under my sheer tops and um stuff like that. It's just really simple, really plain fit, but. It's just one of those everyday basics that come in really handy and they're only £3.99 each so I pick up a couple of them whenever I uh, make an order on New Look. Um, and the next thing is another basic, it's just this roll t-shirt, like the roll sleeve t-shirts that just have the curled up, the curled up sleeves like that in this beautiful pinky red sort of colour. And again, that's four ninety nine. And again, it's just really pretty, really simple and easy to dress. And one of these things I get a lot of wear out, especially once the weather perks up a little bit because it's more of a springy summer colour. And then the last thing I got from New Look as far as clothes are concerned is this white peplum style t-shirt that's just a, whip, a plain basic t-shirt on the top but has a dipped hem peplum at the bottom and that's just really flattering and suits me really well. It's got an eyelet detail on the back and is just really flattering and fits really well on um, to your body shape and I believe that was seven ninety nine. So again I've wore that already and taken the labels off. Um and then I did also pick up a couple of bits of jewellery when I made my second order at New York. And the first thing I got I'll have to stick back together again was this triple stack of um cross rings that's got a gold one, a silver one and a black one. And they're just super pretty. And I tend to have to wear one, only one of them at a time because for some reason if I put more than one on this this part of my finger turns blue. 
I don't know whether it's just because I've got bad circulation anyway or just because they're a tiny bit too tight. But such is life. And I never tend to wear a lot of jewellery at once anyway. And then the second thing I got, as far as jewellery is concerned, are these little turtle stud earrings. When my family decided to get a box on them and not me. You know, these little turtle stud earrings that look dead pretty. And they're awesome other than the fact that my dog thinks that they're really to chew on. So the next set of stuff I got is from Primark, like I said. Um, I just went in for a couple of basic things, um, mostly for my jeans because my jeans, my skinny jeans I got from Primark about September time are starting to get to the point where they were on my last legs. Which is fair enough because I have worn them pretty much every day since I bought them so they are doing really well. So I got two sets of jeans just to replace my navy and my black ones that I got from there. The navy ones I got in a boot, like a boot cut style. They've just got a slightly wider base and I find these are really, um, really good with my boots because it means that my boots can go under my jeans rather than over them, which I find looks better. And with the Primark especially, they are really well put together. And those ones were £10. And then I also got a pair of their skinny jeans with, in black, which are £10. But the skinny jeans come in a whole manner of different colours from black to grey to stonewashed denim and all sorts. And then your boot cut jeans do also come in your black and your two light, two light shades of denim as well. So even if those aren't your thing colour wise then there are alternatives for you. And the next thing I got was on sale and I figured considering the weather gets colder all the time and you can never have enough cardigans. I bought this beige cardigan that was only £5 and it's just got a lovely detail of it's almost like a honeycomb detail in the knitwear and then it's got the marble buttons and for £5 I figured you can't really go wrong. It does have quite a low a low neckline but I tend to wear my cardigans open anyway so that's not so much of a problem for me but if you do like my mum prefer quite a more of a closed neckline it may not be for you but you know, just a big baggy um cardigan for when, when the weather gets if the weather gets a little bit colder. And then the last thing I got from Primark is me living in the hopes of summer and in wanting fashion that's more expensive than I can afford. But I got these sandals that are just patterned black sandals. I'm just trying to get this elastic out of the way to show you properly. Just unfastening the elastic for me, so if you set it, okay. My Primark stuff's always a nightmare to get into she was so much elastic and they're just these black um pattern sandals that I thought looked really similar to the Birkenstock sandals. Um especially as far as the moulded um butt shape and the support there for your feet. And I've been wanting a pair of the black Birkenstock sandals for as long as I can remember knowing the brand. And I've just never quite been able to justify paying £40 for a pair of sandals, but especially in England, there's a very strong chance you'll never actually be able to wear. So I picked up this pair from Primark for £4, and they just have a lovely buckle detail there, and the pattern black um, there. And yeah, they're dead comfortable as well. They Naturally, they aren't as comfortable as the Birkenstock ones because if you haven't got forty pound of pound worth of foot shaping technology and goodness knows goodness knows what behind it. But for four quid, they're absolutely brilliant, and they do come in a lot of other patterns as well. I think there's a bright pink pair, a nude pair, and a white pair of the patterned pair, 
and then there's a pink glitter, a pink and navy stripe, and some other patterning like more canvas. I was an American flag style canvas one as well. So again, you've got a lot of variety. Of the pattern black ones aren't for you, but I found that I could probably get more wear out of those. And the last thing I got was from Clark's and is incredibly boring, but they're just a pair of the flat black ballerina pumps because my only pair of ballet pumps that I have that actually fit me at the moment are the ones I got from Primark back in December when I started working at the perfume shop. They were about two quid on the sale and were purely because I needed something to at work that was flat and that I didn't mind getting destroyed. I still haven't managed to get around to getting rid of them or replacing them. So I've got a pair of these that have a new a really comfy sole and are so much more comfy than the ones I got from Primark. And I've just got the look and the little rough or detail in at the front and a small heel and they were twenty nine ninety nine but considering how much extra wear I'll get out of them compared to the Primark ones that I'm amazed anyone will even consider for, consider for, consider me for a job for because they're that knackered. Um, I figured I might as well get a decent pair and get my wear out of them and actually be comfortable in them because there's no support or heel or anything in the Primark ones and standing on even the smallest thing you can feel it right through your leg because there's just no support and no protection now and I'll grab them now actually I'll show you just how bad of a state these shoes are actually in so I'm back with the offending black pair of flats from Primark have you seen those have you seen the state of those how did I ever think that getting a pair of Primark flats for work would ever actually work. I mean, how much protection does a pair of shoes that does that really have? They're horrible, and I don't understand what possessed me to keep them as long as I have. But alas, I've got my Clark Swans as a place in the now, so I can put those in the bin. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I might be coming up on my next video with an incredibly long beauty hall because I get my student finance on Monday and because I live with my parents and because I don't have to pay for rent or food or textbooks I have a hundred and um, 1400 pound to play with and naturally I'm not going to spend all of this at once on beauty stuff but I will probably spend a considerable amount of money on make and makeup because me and my friends love to go shopping on the first day of student finance and just see what we can get our hands on as far as bargains are concerned so I'll probably be back with the beauty haul on Monday or Tuesday and I'll think about what other videos I can bring to you next um, after, you, after that but I'm not quite sure yet. Um, if you have any ideas of anything you want to see please leave them in, in the description bar below and other than that I shall see you in my next video. Please like and subscribe. I do love hearing from you as well, so please leave comments if you have any. Bye bye! That wasn't even recording, I've just filmed about 10 minutes worth of stuff and forgot to press the record button. Only me, only me.